Good afternoon, happy Thursday. I wanted to do a video post on what I recently posted about, which was the difference between behavior that's understandable versus justified. And so the main point is that those two are not synonymous, meaning that something can be understandable, but not justified. And so I'm going to give you an example of something that is probably understandable and justified um, to help paint this picture. So let's say um, I have a coworker that I'm supposed to be starting a new project with um, today at work. And she calls me in the morning and says, hey, I already let our boss know about this, but I just wanted to pass along that um, I had a death in the family. I have to go out of state um, to be with my family during this time and I'm not gonna make it into work. I'm not gonna be able to help you with the project today. So that's understandable, right? I can say that makes sense. I can empathize with that. And I can also say that was like a justified decision, right? You're justified in wanting to prioritize leaving town and being with your family given what's happened. So um, no conflict there. Now there are several instances, infinite instances, in which we can make sense of somebody's behavior, we can understand it, but we don't have to justify it. And so one example might be if your partner comes home and you know they had a terrible day, maybe um, their boss yelled at them and you were aware of this, maybe they got no sleep the night before, maybe they haven't eaten anything all day, um, and they're dealing with a ton of stress and they come home and they're really rather snarky to you, um, maybe cold and kind of rude, um, and maybe they yell at you when they get home. So that's an example of I can understand why this behavior is happening, right? I can make sense of it based on everything that you've experienced today and your, your really crappy day, and I don't have to tolerate it, right? Just because I can understand why you're behaving that way doesn't mean I have to say, oh, well, it's justified. It makes total sense that you're um, screaming at me and because it makes sense I guess I have to tolerate it. I can say that makes sense and not okay like you need to go do what you need to do to relax take a deep breath whatever and then we can reconvene and have an appropriate conversation. Um, addiction comes up a lot when I think of this um, where we can say I can understand that this addiction isn't your fault and that you're really struggling and that you're doing the best you can and you're not allowed to use around me. So I can understand why you have this addiction maybe or that you have this addiction and you're out of control and you're using, I don't have to justify, I don't have to say, well, just because I can understand why this is happening or that this is happening, does that mean that I just say, well, I guess it's justified, it's acceptable, right? And the biggest, most extreme example of this, I think, um, comes in people who harm other people. So I can say, I understand that people who inflict pain on others are wounded people themselves and they're Inflicting pain on others is an attempt to reduce their own pain. I can make sense of that. And that doesn't mean that it's okay to go around harming people. That is unacceptable and not justified. And so I think when we learn to discern between what's understandable and justified, um, it allows us to have better boundaries because we can make sense of almost any behavior. We can work really hard to try and understand it. And we probably can understand a lot of behavior, but that doesn't mean that we have to justify it or that we have to tolerate it. And so um, I hope that's a helpful discernment. And um, as always, send me a DM if you find this helpful or have any other questions about this. I really look forward to hearing from you. Bye.